More than a thousand U.S. service members have lost a limb in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, but many are actually returning to combat thanks to bionic legs and arms. Tonight, our Linda Hurtado takes an in-depth look at how they're actually stronger and have more stamina than the real thing. This is the latest weapon on the battlefield. It's not a robot, but a bionic leg attached to Sergeant Jordan Smith, U.S. Army. It's kind of like I had my leg back when I got this one. We're going to start giving you power now. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Sergeant Smith and his bionic ankle have come to Tactical Defense Institute outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. One of five amputees participating in a pilot program, learning how to handle firearms using their bionic limbs. Good. It was a bullet that took Sergeant Smith's leg, fired by an Iraqi insurgent during an ambush in Baghdad. The names of his buddies who didn't survive are etched on his arm. It's rough. It's hard. Um, it's, I kind of, why me? Why did I live and they didn't? Um, why did I get hurt? I mean, four inches. The bullet would have missed me. Either way, four inches. The infantryman has been using the iWalk biome foot for about a year. My good leg gets tired before my prosthetic leg. This one's got assistance. I mean, it, it's, I'm trying to keep up with it. That's because it is truly bionic. A piston replaces the calf muscle and Achilles tendon. With six microcomputers inside, it even does the thinking for the lower leg. This seems to go beyond what the manufacturers are even claiming it'll do. Sam Santarita owns SRT Prosthetics, which fits amputees with several kinds of artificial limbs. Perfect. Like the bionic knee. But the biome ankle is a game changer. It's stronger than the human leg it replaces, strong enough to send this soldier back into combat. Sergeant Smith says it's as simple as reloading. It's a battery, it doesn't get tired. It dies, swap them out. Two seconds, you're going right back at it. More and more military amputees are staying on active duty and returning to battle. A generation ago, nearly 98% of amputee warriors would leave the military. Now the Army says one out of five single amputee soldiers returns to full duty. Everything was left up to me. What do you want to do? That uh, was the big question. What do you feel comfortable doing? Um, do you want to stay active duty? Do you want to retire? Um, and I chose to stay in. That's why the Defense Department and Veterans Administration funded development of the bionic ankle and other advanced prosthetics. But now civilian amputees are benefiting from this military technology. Yeah. Now you're stable. We are probably going to see people that are performing at a higher level than able-bodied people. Plant drop, whack that guy. Tactical Defense yeah. Institute and SRT are now offering a firearms course just for amputees. Carry that gun anywhere they need to carry it to, and then you're never going to get tied up in the steering wheel. But Sergeant Smith can slip on his bionic leg and keep up with anyone. I can do this. Taking action for your health, I'm Linda Hurtado, ABC Action News. Sergeant Smith is returning to active duty at Fort Sam Houston in Texas, and as an infantry sergeant, he will likely head back to combat with his bionic